Hey, this is Ben Freer. I'm an immigration lawyer, and today I'm going to talk to you about TN status and why it's not too bad of a process for employers to go through. Now, typically, employers are reluctant to be willing to help out a prospective employee or an employee um, with the immigration process. They oftentimes assume that it's going to be very costly, very time consuming. And a lot of the times that's absolutely true. For example, if you are sponsoring someone for um, an employment based green card, it's usually going to require a test of the labor market. It's going to require you to go through this specific process for your testing the labor market to see if there are any other um, qualified U.S. candidates out there. And for that process and for some other visas, it's required that the employer actually pays for the process. So it can be very expensive, very time consuming. I completely understand when employers are a little bit reluctant to get involved. Now, luckily, TN status is completely different, especially if your prospective employee is from Canada. And here is why it's, it's different. First of all, the employee can actually pay for the fees. Now, if an employer is sponsoring someone for a different type of visa, like an H-1B, a lot of times there's a requirement that the employer actually has to pay for the legal fees, pay for the processing fees, all of that. But the TN status is different. So an employee can actually pay the attorney, they can pay any sort of filing fees or visa fees that are required. So it's a little bit easier for the employer in that respect. The second reason why the TN process isn't all that bad for an employer is that it's fast. So with a Canadian citizen, they can actually take all the supporting documentation. They can take the documentation that shows that they qualify as a TM professional. They can take the documentation that shows that they're going to be working in the United States as a TM professional. And they can present that um, at the border and on the spot, the CBP will look at everything and decide if they qualify. If they do qualify, they'll be able to come in and start to work. So what does the employer actually have to do? So the employee is the one who's going to be gathering all the documentation regarding their background. They're the ones who are going to be showing up at the border and asking someone for this status. What does the employee, what does the employer actually have to do? Well, the employer, the main task is very straightforward. What they have to do is they have to craft a letter um, that shows that they're going to be offering a position to the TN professional to work as a TN professional. And if you're working with a lawyer, that process is going to be fairly straightforward. Your lawyer is probably going to give you some sort of template to go by. They just really help you craft the language that shows, hey, this person is a TN professional. And yes, they will be working in the United States as a TN professional for this particular business. So there's really not that much to it. It's really nothing to be scared of. With a knowledgeable immigration lawyer, you will be able to navigate this process pretty quickly and easily. I would say on average, it would take maybe an hour, maybe two hours of the employer's time, uh, but it's really not a huge time commitment. It's not expensive and it's fast. So for those three reasons, I would ask any employer who's considering it to give this a look and considering helping out an employee who is needing some form of sponsorship for TN status. Thank you so much for watching this. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to reach out.